Pope Francis has been something a little bit different to the popes that we've had before. Now, first off, I know that talking about religion is one of the sure ways of starting an argument. There are two things that are guaranteed to start an argument, heated debates, every single time, and that's politics and religion. People put a lot of stock in different religions. And unfortunately, when this topic is brought up in the conversation, in my experience, it has had two main reactions from people who are uh, Catholic or Christian. And they either shut down, just point blank refuse to have the conversation, or they just accept it as fact. Yes, priests rape children. What more do you expect? Fortunately, that's a legitimate conversation I had a little while ago. But more often than not, people do shut down. And people shut down because they have a vested interest in their institutions. And the fact that their institution has done something so grotesque, they take it as a personal insult. Pope Francis has recently come out and apologised for protecting paedophiles would be a little more giving than I want to be, but essentially that's what he's done. Uh, his recent trip to Ireland, that's, that's the footing he led on. I'm sorry that the church has done this to you. And it's, it's a good first step, but it's only a good first step if it's followed by something. We have known for decades that the church and the Vatican have protected paedophiles almost every single time. And as far as I'm aware, and please correct me if I'm wrong, there have been less than 10 prosecutions of child rapists who were part of the church. And yet the church itself, under Pope Francis, has admitted that at least 10% of uh, church members, uh, priests, clergy and so on, are paedophiles. 10% in the numbers of the church is an unbelievably overwhelming number. And yet that is significantly destroyed by the fact that less than 10 people have been prosecuted for this. We've known for decades that the church and the Vatican is protecting paedophiles. Sometimes they move the person out of that particular area. Sometimes they move them out of the country. The Vatican has the documentation that they could give to prosecutors, to local authorities like that, showing that person A was a priest and there was a long list of children that he raped. But they haven't. And this goes into two parts uh, that I want to get to. First off, if you're not particularly religious, then... You can have that debate, you can push that talking point because no institution should be able to do that. Regardless if it's political, whether it's pop stars, whether it's rock stars, whether it's religious institutions, whether it's someone you just really like, you don't cover for that. And if you are religious, if you are Christian, if you are Catholic, if you do put stock in the Vatican, you should be more outspoken about this than anyone else. Because while paedophiles don't represent who you are, the church that you put so much stock in has gone to extreme lengths to protect child rapists. Again, Pope Francis's apology is a good first step. But it's only good if it's followed up by significant action. Simply saying, I'm sorry, your rapist was protected, is not good enough unless these people are brought to justice. It's just that simple.